Okay, so it's a good thing I just looked over at my recording because it was supposed to be recording like this whole time before all of this. Uh, hello everybody and welcome to the Hunter Classic. We're out here on Red Feather Falls, although it's kind of rainy right now. Um, but I'm doing a whitetail competition. It is the average score of all of my whitetail bucks harvested in a single hunt, but it is uh, a minimum of five whitetail bucks have to be harvested. I had one call from like right over here. I don't see it though. I have one coming in from behind me, or not behind me, but like over here. And then I had one call from, oh, there he is. He's literally right there. I'm blind. He's nice. Okay. I could probably get him down from here. Let's see. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And now, okay, so I can see him. Oh, he is very much subpar. So we are not going to be harvesting that guy. We might shoot him just to get him down. That way he doesn't call and interrupt anything else. But that's it so far. So I will check back in when either we see another big buck or when we pick this guy up. Alrighty, so we are not going to pick him up because he will actually lower our score in the competition. But we're going to pick the female up because it's males only that count. So we'll pick her up and then we'll go that way. We'll pick this guy up. He is a 107. Now if I can keep that as my lowest scoring whitetail, that's pretty good. Alrighty, so we have this really nice Hyrak Whitetail. Look at you. Alright, so we're gonna pick up the does that are at my feet. And we're gonna go pick him up and then we're gonna move to a different spot. That's why I decided to use the rifle. Really, really nice. Ooh, 173. We'll take a pick. There we go. That's nice. Love a good 170 and a high rack. <clears throat> so I'm going to clear my set markers. I'm going to kind of hunt this direction in a nice little arc towards this stand and this tree. This tree stand and this tent. And we might swing south towards this tower. But we're gonna hunt this way. I'm gonna call as I go. And I'm gonna do what I did. So on the way here, what I did was I, you know, if I saw tracks and I could like tell that they were white tail, I'd pick them up. And I would just call with the grunt collar as I moved. And I moved real slow. That way anything that, you know, was listening to it would kind of follow me a little bit. And then when I got up in here, I had, I think it was three bucks, two does, maybe three does, two bucks, all just following me. And that was when I body shot one that we're not going to go track. We're just going to keep moving this way and hopefully find some other big ones. I do have a doe that I shot that ran off this direction, so we might try to find her properly, but... That's really about it. I don't see anything. I mean, just because I don't see it doesn't mean it's not there. <laughs> Sir. Oh, if he's going to walk right out in the open like that. Oh, 
perfect. He's down. He'll count for the harvest. Now I just gotta find out if and where I can cross this water to go pick him up. Since I fired a shot, I'm gonna run. Hopefully, I can cross here. Right up here. <clears throat> can just barely see it. There we go. What do we got? 121, not bad. Okay. Now, if I go this way a little bit, I just realized. So I was like, man, it's getting quiet. I haven't heard any whitetail. It is 8.22 a.m. Um, a lot of the deer species like to lay down and take naps at about 8 a.m. So, they're really not going to call unless they just render in for me while I'm moving around. So, I'm going to have to move around, get them to call when they render in. And then they'll probably, like, lay down. Hmm. Oh. Crap. Well. That sounded like a white tail. I'm gonna have to go over there. And I'm gonna have to look for tracks. And hope that it's a doe. Oh boy. Awesome. Okay. So it was a buck. Alright, so I started following the tracks really slowly. I don't want it to be... Wait a minute. Oh. Nice. Well... Crouch. Prone. I was gonna say, please tell me. Okay. Ah. Do what he's got. 139. A pretty solid. Now I only need one more buck to count. And I think I'm gonna head up over this hill towards the town. I might be okay if I spook some. Gotta go find a buck. See, this is the hard part about when they're sleeping, is they all... Like, none of them are going to be moving, so you can't count on, like, catching movement in the distance. Spot them. You just got to count on your own eyes. It is just about 9 a.m. I'd like to think that they're going to wake up soon. I see a deer over there on that shoreline. Ooh, and he looks fairly nice. 110 to 190. Let's call him in. And <clears throat> there's a cow moose there. I guess really we just had to sit still for a minute. So I crouched in, made sure I was camouflaged, and he should be coming soon. Yep, I can see his legs. There he is. This is the final deer. 
harvesting this company. That is my fifth wipe tail buck. All of them have been over a hundred with the score. I'm very satisfied. With that. This will take a look at our standings. Or it'll actually tell me none. 123. Ooh. We are in first place. Average of 133. I think the only way that I could improve it is if I got some stuff that was bigger. Which... <laughs> <coughs> I don't know if that's even possible. But... Unless I see something incredible while standing here and looking around. I think we're gonna wrap up. Alrighty, so I did check a couple more tracks in the area just to see who was traveling with him. Looked like it was just a couple of does, so we're wrapping up there. As of right now, we are in first place. Um, I will update the current standing when this video comes out. Uh, I'll just put it in the editing. But I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see you next time. I appreciate y'all for hanging out with me. Bye!